If you don't have the app Google Keep, you're gonna to want to download that. It's totally free and it's my favorite tool to use for my meal planning. And then you're gonna go down and you're gonna click on the little check mark and that will create a new checklist. I have one at the top there called Dinner Menu. And this is where I keep my big master list of all of my meals. So you can see that they're all crossed out and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But this is everything that we have pretty much ever eaten for dinner. Um, our favorites are starred. So all the ones you see with stars are the ones we eat the most. Um, but I also have anything that we've had like once or twice or any ideas for meals that I want to keep on hand. Okay, so then once you create this master list, it might take you a few hours, it might take you a few days to create, however long you want. Then you're gonna start unchecking meals that sound good to eat. Maybe it's something that you're craving, maybe it's something that you have ingredients on hand already, or just something that you wanna eat next week. So I go through and I start unchecking anything that sounds good to eat for the next week. Okay, then I'm gonna scroll clear up to the top and I have about seven meals. They all have stars. Um, I didn't do that on purpose, but that just shows you that we stick to the same basic things. You can also type in, if you know that you want something and you can't find it, because I have so many down there. I just started typing in Sunday and it brought up Sunday roast. You can um, rearrange the order. I unchecked something because I have too many um, up there. Okay, so that's good for the week because we do go out once a week and so I usually try to have six. Um, there we go. Then as you go throughout the week, you just uncheck it as you eat it and then you've got a clean slate for the next week.